Hey guys, Missing Pixel here, with my new laptop, I decided to revisit one of my favourite game series, Crash Time. When playing the latest game in the series, I was thinking about how sad it is that Snake closed the doors back in 2014, especially since I haven't been able to find an official answer as to why. So in this super quick video, I'm going to tell you what I found. Firstly, what has to be pointed out is that Crash Time's publisher declared insolvency in 2012 and was purchased by Nordic Games, now THQ Nordic. An interview about Crash Time 4 was done in 2011 by Nacht Blocked, where they interviewed the main person behind Snake, Andreas Leicht. The blog asked a fantastic question that helps us to understand the closure behind Snake. Asked about the fear of nobody buying their games anymore, Snake responded with, it is becoming increasingly difficult to assert oneself in the market as a small independent developer. It is certainly not the fear that no one will buy games anymore, but the publisher's acceptance of such small teams and courage to invest in such has declined significantly. In this respect, it is a constant struggle to place a new project and to convince the publisher that even small teams are powerful enough to realise profitable projects. Furthermore, Seneca stated that it's impossible to convince outsiders of a change of direction. This could mean the publishers, but it could also mean gamers. Finally, he has stated that We are currently again stretching our antennas for potential new titles and opportunities. As mentioned above, in addition to racing games, we are also open to genres that may not be so closely linked to the name Synetic. Basically, since at least 2011, Snake were looking for new opportunities, not just tied to the Crash Time games they've been creating for years. It can be inferred then that once DTP Entertainment went into insolvency, Snake were able to find another publisher to fund game development, as it has been difficult to find a publisher who can believe in a small development team, unlike back in the 2000s. Both TDK and Playlogic, who published their world racing games, went defunct. The landscape shifted for small developers, since less publishers were willing to publish budget games, and the ones that did went under. Snake has a loving community, but would their fans have been able to keep them afloat if they were to use something like Kickstarter and Steam Greenlight? Maybe, but probably not. Otherwise, without crowdfunding or publishers, there would have been no way to pay for development costs. Cobra 11 Games believes that this was the reason too. Supposedly, Snake turned into Vitrios. Which is technically correct, but not everyone from the Snake team went to work at Vitrios, from what I can tell, and the founder of Snake certainly did not, so there's a bonus fact. So anyway, hopefully this short video answers your questions as to what happened to Snake. It answered it for me at least. The only thing left I want to know is if Andreas Leicht knows that the game's assets are being used by a random developer. This developer stated that they've gotten blessings from the members of the team, but they never proved this, and I'd love to ask Andreas or someone else about this. But I seem to be terrible at contacting people for this channel, I've literally had zero luck doing DoubleX Overflow and a future project that I have in the works. But maybe I can get an answer to that question one day. But anyway, thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.